that's a rough Major League debut. Just spending a few minutes going through some 2016 Top Series 2, making up a few TTMs to send out. That way I'll have a little more content to share on the Mike O channel in the coming weeks. Trying to get this done before the Phillies start. Phils and Jays uh, playing a little afternoon baseball. Not a great start today for the Phillies. Uh, it's still top three. It's still early, but Zach Eflin struggled a little bit to start his big league career. We head to the fourth inning in Toronto, and the Phillies are down 9 nothing. Zach Eflin got beat up bad, and it was kind of what I was worried about with him making his debut, not only against the Blue Jays in that lineup, but in Toronto. And he had been struggling a little bit in uh, in the minors, and it was kind of an odd time for him to be promoted because it looked like they were going to kind of give him a little time off. And uh, I mean, I know Velasquez got hurt, but I think he had some other options. So hopefully uh, he can bounce back from this in the future because uh, the kid's got great stuff, but rough, rough, rough start to his career. Hey, it got a little better. Phil's got to run. A little mail came in today from sportsboxbreaks.com. It's a newer site, but it's a great place to jump into some breaks. Topps Archives is a kick-ass product. I'm a huge fan. Here's sort of what I got here. Nice Charlie Hayes short print. Cruck Abdubo Herrera. Love that 90 design. Nice Aaron Nola rookie. Richie Ashburn. Robin Roberts. Michael Franco. Ryan Howard. Darren Ruff. I'm not sure why he was made. And Jim Bunning. Uh, got a nice stack of base Let's just make it a little easier nice stack of base there so and the hit that I did get in this team break is Aaron Nola on card auto anyway again I bought this break from sportsboxbreaks.com free shipping and you do get all base there are a lot of guys out there who do box breaks and you don't get the base or you have to pay extra for it and to me if I'm buying something I want all of it and especially if it's a team I like where I can trade them or get stuff autographed and stuff like that. It wasn't a good day for the Phils. They end up losing that game 11-3. to I mean, no surprise. Honestly, the fact that they won one in Toronto and won it the way they did was kind of enough for me. That's just where we are in this season. The season is sort of turning out to what you kind of expect it. Honestly, overall, we're not even at the halfway point, but it's been a success because um, you've seen some development and stuff like that, and you knew they were going to struggle and they went through a phase where they were playing really well, but hopefully they can kind of hit their stride again, get into another hot streak, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, the Jays are coming here to Philadelphia uh, for the next few days, so maybe the Phils can steal another one from Toronto. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.